A number of years ago we realised as a school that our curriculum was too traditional and it wasn't serving enough of our young people. Attempts to introduce alternative courses failed because we hadn't gone about changing the culture in the school to understand the parity of esteem with these new qualifications. Taking part in the SCQF Ambassador programme allowed us to do that groundwork to get staff, pupils and parents to understand the equivalent value of courses other than SQA national qualifications. The SCQF Ambassador Programme is part of the Essex Leadership Programme and Essex pupils sign up to be part of it. They come into the programme knowing the standards that have been set for the past three years with ambassadors in the school. So good practice that's happened in the past three years is being continued but they also come with their new ideas about how to raise awareness and promote RescueQF amongst their peers. But more so we've started to think about how to raise that awareness with parents and with staff. I wanted to be an ambassador because I saw the amazing work that people before me had done and I learned what the SEQF was through them and it was amazing to know that you don't have to go straight to uni. We do have a few friends that haven't got their grades that they expected and they thought that was it, was life's over. over. But we could tell them that look you can go to college or you don't even have to go to uni at all. Me knowing the knowledge that I know from the framework, it's beneficial because I've been able to direct them in a path of, well, you've got this qualification, so why don't you, instead of going back and getting hires, why don't you go and take the next step of doing the HNC, doing the HND? We expect pupils to be individuals and we need to treat them like individuals and everyone is different so we have to make sure that there's different routes um, for everyone so that means we have to go out and we have to educate ourselves in our course and what other options there is for other pupils. It's actually really interesting researching different NPAs and that's what we're doing in the arts at the moment. We're looking at different NPAs. Uh, level 4 and 5 that we can deliver to young people. For the last couple of years we have delivered NPA level 4 and 5 photography and this is a really interesting thing for me because there's senior pupils who want to do a, a course that they enjoy but they also want to make sure that they get something from it and the NPA level 5 photography helps with the SCQF points for when they're getting to university. The benefits for parents is that they understand what their children are actually going through. We obviously can do 50% in school, but when they go home at night, we have little impact, and for their parents to be knowledgeable of what's actually going on at school, um, it can be really beneficial to the parents, um, to the, the pupil, and also to the teacher, so it can impact on us all. There's a lot more information through the SCQF than when I was at school doing standard grades. I didn't know what Nat 5s were, Nat 4s. I had nothing to compare that with. You just hear these words getting thrown about and you, you don't know what standard your kids are at. So through the leaflets and literature, it's very clear and what they are and you can actually physically compare them. What you've got from the standard grades to the Nat 5s and Nat 4s and things and to higher levels and things so our parents can understand nice and clear what they mean. In our school, before I even thought of the SEQF, when I heard a level instead of a qualification, I thought, not as good, not as good as a national, it's not going to get me anywhere. Going into the SEQF framework, it's totally changed my view because I didn't know it was a level six was equivalent to a higher. So it's taken the stress off of me because this year I'm going on to do some level five and level six instead of hires and national fives. I would highly recommend uh, any school becoming an SEQF ambassador school. Because all schools will have the same issue as us, that not every young person is well served by a traditional curriculum. And before considering introducing alternative pathways, it's important that the, the, the groundwork is put in first to make sure pupils, staff and parents understand the parity of esteem that these other qualifications have. And the only way I think you can do that is by becoming an SCPF Ambassador School. Overall, young people are more engaged in their learning especially providing an education curriculum that meets their needs, whether it's exam based or whether it's learning outcome based. And young people really value education at all levels across the framework.